Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial with Android Studio. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to working with a toggle button in your Android application. So by using a toggle button, you can change the state between two settings. For example, you can change your Wi-Fi state between on and off using a toggle button. So in this episode, I am going to show you, I am going to create an Android application that will demonstrate how to place a toggle button in your Android application and how to handle the click events of the toggle button. From Android version 4.0 onwards, Google introduced another GUI component called the switches. So switches also performing the same functionality of a toggle button. Okay, so create a new project in Android Studio. So first we have to add the needed GUI. So here I am going to add a toggle button. and make the width into wrap content height also wrap content provide an id for the toggle button using id attribute i name it as toggle button 1 okay also you can provide the two the text for the two state so here I am going to provide two state text so first one is text on I name it as vibrate on now provide an off text so use the attribute text off name it as vibrate off the default state of a toggle button is off state okay and now I align this one at the center and throw it layout gravity into center horizontal now look at the design now we got a toggle button at the center of the layout the default state is vibrate off okay now to display the result here I am going to add a text to view with this wrap content height also wrap content provide a text for the text to view and do it text hello world okay also we need an ID for this text to view so use the ID attribute plus ID I name it as result text ok also here I am going to align this text to view at the center layout gravity into center horizontal also the text appearance into large one use the text appearance attribute okay now we have two component a toggle button and a text view okay one more thing now we have to add an unclick method for the toggle button so whenever user perform an action on the toggle button we have to handle the click events so here I am going to add an unclick method for the to toggle button using the onclick attribute I name it as change vibrate state okay now we have to define this method now we have to define this method on the main activity.java file so I copy this method and open up the main activity.java and here I am going to define that method public void method name is change vibrate state also for displaying the result we need an object of the text to view ok now we have to initialize this text to view on the onCreate method so text to view 
equal to find view by id r dot id dot result text cast this one into corresponding class here the class name is text view okay and here I am going to hide this text view using the method set visibility I make it invisible okay so whenever user perform an action on the toggle button we have to switch on and switch off the vibrate state okay so here is the method don't forget to add a view attribute so it is not attribute it's just a parameter okay so now we have to check whether the state is checked or unchecked that means on or off for that here I am going to create a boolean variable I name it as check so here the view component is a toggle button now specify the view object now call the method is check so if the toggle button is on in on state we got true on this boolean variable if it is in off state we got false okay so now we have to check the state if it is in on state we have to display some message using the text view so text view dot set text vibrate on now we have to enable the text view set visibility into visible okay other other case we have to show the vibrate option is off so text to view dot set text vibrate off okay now we can test the application so now here I am going to run the application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device now here now the text view is invisible so here I am going to make a change on the toggle button so I click the toggle button now you can see now it is in on state vibrate is now on now I make it into off state okay so now I am going to add a switch so I already tell you the switch also performing the same functionality of a toggle button but the switch is available from Android version 4.0 that means AP level 14 onwards so here I am going to add a switch into this layout the width is wrap content height also wrap content but here we got an error because now the minimum required SDK version is 5 you need to change that one into 14 for working with the switch in your application so in Android Studio for changing the minimum required SDK version you have to make some modification on the Gradle script but in the case of Eclipse you can modify you can change the minimum required SDK version using the manifest file but in Android Studio you have to make some modification on the Gradle script so open up this build.gradle file now here you have to change the minimum SDK version now it is 5 so here I am going to change that one into 14 ok also for here you can see a message you need to perform a sync for this change to take effect so here I am going to sync it now so click sync now so now the project sync in progress okay now I think it's finished the syncing now go to the activity main.xml file yeah now the error is gone okay 
so here the width is wrap content height also wrap content and here also we need some two text an off state and on state text so android text off I name it as Wi-Fi off now need another text Android text on I name it as Wi-Fi on okay here I am going to provide an ID for this Android ID plus ID toggle button 2 okay also here I am going to align this at the center of the layout using the layout gravity into center horizontal now look at the design now we got a switch in our layout for a switch also the default state is off state okay so now we have to so here for this switch here I am not here I am not going to use an on click method you can use an on click method for a switch but here instead of on click method here I am going to use the on checked state change listener so go to the main activity dot java so first you need to create an object of switch I name it as a switch initialize that particular object a switch equal to find to view by id r dot id dot toggle button 2 type cast it into switch okay so instead of here I am going to use the on state change listener instead of on click so a switch the method name is on checked state yeah the method name is set on checked change listener it's an anonymous inner type on checked change listener okay so in this method we got another method called on checked change so whenever user make an action on the switch this method will invoke you can use the set on checked change listener for the toggle button also so here we got two argument a compound button object and a boolean variable here we have a compound button object because the toggle button and uh, the switch is the subclass of compound button okay so here first we have to check whether it is on or, on or off so if it is is checked we have to display some message using the text to view use the same text to view here change this one into Wi-Fi on other case we have to display Wi-Fi off okay now we complete the coding now we can test the application so now I am going to run the application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so here we have a switch and a toggle button so now the default state of the switch is off state so it is Wi-Fi off now I am going to make it on so now it is in on state now again make it into off state 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel for getting more video updates on your YouTube homepage as well as on your email. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.